All right, guys. I've been wanting to make this video for a while. If any of you all have a, I guess any of the Maverick series, bits and spits grills, and uh, regardless of what uh, firmware you have, I bought this one last year. It had the U1.10. I was upgraded later to the U1.16. I've got a few tips and modifications if you're interested in getting a little bit more consistent smoke, at least up to about 275 degrees. Um, the original U110 firmware with a seven hole fire pot, which here's an example of the fire pot. This one's modified. You have the three holes here, three on the other side, and then one on the top. Now the secret here is adding these two holes, one on each side of the igniter. And the reason I was prompted to do this was because I had a uh, Traeger Ironwood 650 the fire pot was pretty rusted and um, I wanted to switch it out with a uh, with another one so I tried the smoke daddy ink I've got a uh, stainless steel one looks just like this same size it fit auger side auger hole was the same everything was the same but it had these two additional holes on the end uh, the Traeger has two right here one on top one on the bottom but none here on the back so it's a none uh, or none here on the back on the bottom so it is a nine hole fire pot so i figured you know it's not going to make a difference the controller is still going to be able to do stuff and what i noticed was that 250 265 270 there was consistent smoke coming out of the back of the unit like never before usually it had to be 225 or below you'd see some smoke you could and not only see it but you could you know smell it and i figure if you smell it you could probably taste it on your food so the only change i made to the traeger ironwood was just switching to the smoke daddy uh fire pot i don't think they sell it anymore now they've got some vortex model that's got some dents in here to make the fire spin around but this is a pits and spits original fire pot that i modded with these two holes on each side and they are approximately 1 16th smaller than these i actually had them smaller but i did it in increments so i would you know until i found the results i wanted and i knew the controller would be able to handle it after some modifications um so what i did was i installed this fire pot and right now inside i have the the original i go back and forth and i keep testing you know i test the seven hole i test the uh the nine hole here just to see am i am i really dreaming is it actually better and yes it is better with this with this nine hole now the thing is if you have the u110 firmware and you do this your temperatures are going to skyrocket you may set it to 250 and you're going to be at 275 inside the pit and the controller actually lies pretty well you can see right here grill actual set to 250 and it says actually 250 well even if i move this and i put it right next to the rtd probe like you can see it's 238 so you can't you can't trust this at all this doesn't start changing until it's about 20 some degrees off and once you're 20 some degrees off actual this will switch down like 249 or 251 either way whichever way it is so um if you have the u110 software which is the one that's been around for a while i guess you hit these two buttons and of course pits and spits will tell you this voids the warranty you hit these two buttons you go all the way to c33 if you have the u1.10 and you hit the power button that gives you the value of 25 that's the fan duty cycle uh and i had it set to 42. so what that does and you can hit uh the power again to get out and you can hit prime and that'll take you all the way out uh you hit c33 you set that to about 42 at least that was the case for me and what that was able to do is it reduces just like you can hear how often the fan pulses at higher temperatures or higher auger duty cycles so the auger is running more uh that tells it you know how much to run the fan so i was able to be right on set point if this thing was set to 250 you know my thermometer was within a couple degrees uh you know after after tweaking that number a lot if you have the u116 or u1.16 firmware which is the newer one it did produce a little bit better results with the seven hole fire pot but the ever tinker that i am I went back in here and I found, uh, after searching some forums, I found some stuff on Rectech controllers. And I was able to kind of find that the value of C13 
is the RTD gain. Now, originally, when you upgrade your Pits and Spits Maverick, at least, you know, this 1250, uh, this number will be up like 1130. And the pit was running 25 to 30 degrees cooler. It doesn't matter what temperature I had it at, it was always 25 or 30 degrees cooler. Pits and Spits told me to just put my thermometers away and just cook. I mean, that's, I don't think that's right. This is a very expensive pit. It should be running close to set point. And what, uh, let me get out of here. And yeah, it would say 250, but you were actually, you know, 225 or 230 inside the pit. And so that's what I'm saying. You can't really trust this thing. So uh, although it ru runs very well, once you got it dialed in, it runs really, really well. So what you do if you have the U1.616, excuse me if I'm jumping around here a lot. Um, go to C13. Go in there. Now this is the setting that I kind of came to if you have the seven hole fire pot. Value of 1060, that gets me really close. So you can see right now, and it varies a little bit, 243. I was taking my readings in the middle of the pit. So it's 243 and it's set to 250. That's close, you know, that's pretty close and it'll vary, it'll go up and down. So if you have the nine hole fire pot like this, you're gonna get additional air. So your temperature is gonna go even higher. So what you have to do is you have to set this number down to about 1040. And you can fiddle with this, you know, up and down. You can put your probes in there, check the temperatures, monitor it over, you know, give it, you know, 30 minutes to adjust to, to these changes. They don't happen right away. Yeah, so you do have to kind of go through, you know, a lot of pellets, use some cheap pellets or something uh, that'll cost you a lot of money because you're gonna have to do a lot of testing or do it while you're cooking, it doesn't matter. But uh, 1040 seems to work well for a nine hole fire pot. 1060 seems to work well for the standard fire pot with a U.16. Uh, the newer firmware, uh, that gets the temperature back to where it was. Um, you know, usually it, the logic here is still that this value changes what the controller thinks the temperature is from the RTD probe. That's why they call it RTD gain. It doesn't affect what you see over here. This is still gonna be right, so, but the controller is gonna adjust its temperature up and down based on that, and then you can get really close temperatures. I'm set to 250, I have 245, that's perfect. And you can monitor your temperatures however you want. Uh, I dialed mine in with some, uh, with having a probe there in the middle, and I actually have even temperatures from left all the way to the end of the drip pan. And the way I did that is my uh, heat deflector underneath this all the way is actually cranked quite a bit over to the right. Uh, I don't know the exact measurement, I can pin it in the comments later, but I was able to get pretty much within like less than five degrees from left to right by moving that uh, heat deflector underneath far to the right. And then if you want something to cook a little bit faster, you can put it all the way over here on the right. This little area over here on the right, the last couple inches tends to be pretty hot. But uh, you know, I'm set to 250, you know, it's, it's okay. This is with the seven hole fire pot, but uh, if you guys want a mod and you're into that kind of stuff, I would definitely recommend pick up, pick yourself up another fire pot. If you want to be able to go to your back to your original one or buy another one, uh, or that's that's what I said. But uh, you know, in this case, I have two, two original pits and spits ones, and one has nine holes, one has seven, and I go back and forth and experiment, and I just find that I get more smoky results at 250, 275 using this one. Uh, with the U.16 firmware with the uh, RTD gain of the C13 setting set to uh, about, what did I say, about 1040. And that seems to give uh, pretty good results.